let's make some herb stura. Hi, I'm Jer. Welcome to Kill Devil, where we focus on Roman cocktails. Today we are going to make Herbstura. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're returning to the channel, welcome back. In either case, I hope you enjoy this recipe. Herbstura is a cocktail ingredient that is 50% herb saint and 50% Angostura bitters. Herbstura. It was created in 1939 by Don the Beachcomber to be used in his tiki cocktails in his bar. Note at the time that he created Herbstura that there was a ban in the United States on absinthe. Prohibition had been repealed in 1933, but the prohibition on absinthe was not revoked until much later. So if he wanted to use an anise-flavored um, liqueur, he had to use something else. Herb Saint is an anise-flavored liqueur that was created to fill the gap left by the ban on absinthe. Some people speculate that if Don the Beachcomber had access to absinthe, he would use that instead of, instead of Herb Saint which makes perfect sense, because if there was no ban on absinthe and Don the Beach Corner had access to absinthe, then Herb Saint wouldn't have been created at all. So when you're making your Herb Stura, if you want to go traditional, go with Herb Saint. But if you want to use absinthe instead, feel free to do so. When making Herb Stura, you don't need a lot. Okay, I'm going to be using a little dropper bottle. This will probably last me a lifetime. When it came time for me to make this recipe, I could not justify buying a bottle of Herb Saint just to make this little bit of Herb Stura, so I'm going to use a little bit of the absence that I have on hand. But do what you like. To make Herb Stura, I'm going to put it, like I said, in a little dropper bottle, and this will be probably be enough for my lifetime. I don't use a lot of it. Until I start making tiki drinks, and maybe we'll use a lot more. We'll see. But what I'm going to do is take, start with my absinthe, and I'm going to put one teaspoon of that into my dropper bottle. And let's see if this funnel fits. Ho, 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 ho. One teaspoon is something in metrics that I'll put in the subtitles down below. Yeah, let's just do one teaspoon. I could probably get away with two, but let's do one. Then one teaspoon of my Angostura bitters. And some people say you can use other bitters if you'd like, but it is Obstura, not Herbstura. I'm, yeah, Herbstura, not... And I'm going to use this knife on camera. There we go, there we go. And again, one teaspoon, because it is a 50-50 split. Okay, seeing that in there, I'm going to double both. So another teaspoon of Angostura bitters. I'll clean this up in a little bit. And another teaspoon of absinthe. So two teaspoons of each, because that fits my bottle. And I probably could even more, but I'm not going to. Moving on. Seal up your bottle. Give it a shake, and that's it. Herbs do it up. I was going to say drink with good spirits, but I'm not going to drink this. See you next time. Question of the day. Herb saint or absinthe? Which do you prefer when making herbs do it up? Let me know in the comments down below. Question of the day. When Don the Beachcomber was creating herbs do it up, he used herb saint and angostura bitters. Herb, herb saint, angostura. Herbs do it up. But if he'd had access to absinthe, would he have made abstura? Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Note that there are ways to support the channel if you're so inclined. I do have social media links down below. Feel free to check those out and follow me on any of those. I have t-shirts available. If you want a t-shirt, contact me through those social media links and we'll make sure you get one. Finally, if you like Herbstura, give me a like, give me a subscribe, turn on notifications so you don't miss out on anything that I do.